Alaska needs zombie hunters. Our 49th state needs your help to take down the zombie population as an Alaskan Tier 2 zombie hunter. As a Tier 2 hunter, you'll feel a sense of national pride as you take down the undead who are wreaking havoc on our neighbors to the north. Alaska is an untamed wilderness with magnificent glaciers and majestic mountain ranges that seem to go on forever. Yes, as a zombie hunter, you'll be right in the thick of it as you help rid this rugged land of its undead nuisance. You'll be your own boss while working hard in the great outdoors. Every zombie kill must be taken immediately to the nearest outpost station where a highly skilled government employee will assist you. After your zombie kill is confirmed and documented, you'll be paid handsomely for all your hard work. Now it's time to kick up your heels at one of the many local night spots. If you think you have what it takes to become an Alaskan Tier 2 zombie hunter, come join our winning team and help make our 49th state safe for all Americans. Oh, you know, my mother's coming next week. What are we going to do? Do we have enough money to take her on a whale watching cruise? It would be nice if you got a better job. I just wish we had a little extra money. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, we've got a couple of zombie traps in your area. And, uh, yes. If you're available for the mission. Yes, yes, uh, yes. Yes. Uh, are you sure you can make yes, it? Yes, yes. Okay, great. Just uh, give us a few minutes and we'll text you the info. done around here and you are taking off leaving me here to do them all. Where's your sense of responsibility? So tell me about Alaska's zombie problem. Why do you think that the government's kept us in dark so long? Well the government's always had their secrets. You know Roswell, Bigfoot, Hatcher Pass Lake Monster. I mean, why should this be any different? Why does Alaska's population of zombies seem to be so high when the rest of the world they seem to be extinct? It wasn't until after World War II, or actually during World War II, when the Japanese invaded the Attu Islands. They found a few remaining samples frozen. Army turned it into a biological weapon to use against the Japanese. I mean, you really don't think we beat samurais on our own, do you? The only way to beat those people was with death, because they were fighting to the death. Once the virus hit the native villages, it was pretty much impossible to stop. I mean, 1964, there was a boat that ran adrift in Cook Inlet with the virus on board and zombies, and the Army used a nuclear weapon to take it out, blamed all the damage on a so-called earthquake. So how has uh, zombie hunting affected your personal life? Where do you think you are going? Are you Again. It's got its ups and downs. Highest zombie kill rate so far goes to a husband and wife team. Publicly they pretended to live with bears, kind of like Alaska's answer to Jane Goodall. <clears throat> they even made a cheesy documentary about it. Is it going? I don't know. How do you know? Look at the red dot. What red dot? There's no the red, red dot. Look at the red dot. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's Look on. Just, just do it. Is it you're, on? I'm not going to do you're it. You're not leaving. I have to pee. Okay, let me just say this. Alaska doesn't have a bear problem. Alaska has a gun problem. There's no reason to have guns in Alaska. People are so afraid of bears, but, you know, it's like, I've been up here... I've been up here for three months, and you know it's like I live. Oh, God, 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 damn it! 
They bit the bullet. It was really easy to make it look like the bears ate them. That's why we zombie hunters. We reserve chamber number six for ourselves. Nobody wants to go out the way they did. Nobody. <coughs> Welcome to Berkeley. Let's me get a vodka. Right. Uh, green tea, please. Okay. Hey. Hey. What? <laughs> what are you doing? Dude, get off my ass about this, will you please? You're crossing that thin barrier between sensitive, kind, gentle, heartbreak guy to a freaking stalker. When was the last time you checked a Facebook post? <laughs> I'm not a Facebook stalker, okay? <laughs> She's been busy. What are you listening to? Freebird. What the fuck? <laughs> Air supply? Are you freaking serious? Dude. Hold on, let me... Oh, this is my favorite part. I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. Go for Kyle. Copy that bird nest. ETA is approximately one hour. Roger that. All right, get your tampons. Let's roll. We got an MIA in the field. You see him? Nope. Yeah, I see a couple of cubs. We got a payday. Let's not shoot them. You smoking, Auntie? Huh? Oh, I like kids. You think I'll be a good dad? Ow! What was that for? You think I'm gonna give up a double payday? The cubs are easy to pack out. You have to hit me. Jeez. They warned me about you. You need to pull your head out of your ass. And you need to stay off Facebook. I'm going after them. Cover me. Hey, Jody. Hey, what are you doing? No, I can talk. Yeah. Well, don't yell. Why'd you unfriend me? Well, who's Frank? Why is he posting stuff on your wall? He poked you? What do you mean he poked you? Oh, I gotta go. Love you. Love you. Feels good to be a gangster. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. A real gangster ass nigga plays his cards right. A real gangster ass nigga never runs his fucking mouth. Cause real gangster ass niggas don't start fights. And niggas always got a hot cap. Showing all his boys how he shot him. Real gangsta ass niggas don't flex nuts Cause real gangsta ass niggas know they got them